Anne, Princess Royal and Princess of Orange was the second child of King George II of Great Britain and Caroline of Ansbach. She was the second holder of the title Princess Royal. She was an Anglophile and tried to promote English interests in the Netherlands. Anne was born at Herrenhausen Palace in Hanover on 2nd of November 1709. She was named after Anne, Queen of Great Britain. As a child, she learned German, French, English, and she was taught to play the harpsichord by George Friedrich Handel. After this, she remained a supporter of Handel for life. Anne had seven siblings, but only six survived to adulthood. Frederick, Amelia, Caroline, William, Mary and Louise. In 1714, Anne's grandfather became King of Great Britain and Anne and her family moved to England. In 1720, Anne contracted smallpox. She survived the disease and two years later her mother helped to popularise the practice of inoculation. Her mother had Anne's sisters Amelia and Caroline inoculated against the disease successfully. Anne's face was scarred by the disease and she was not considered to be as beautiful as her sisters. On the 30th of August 1727, George II created Anne Princess Royal. A potential marriage between Anne and King Louis XV of France was considered. However, the plans were thrown out when the French insisted Anne convert to Catholicism. On the 25th of March 1734, Anne married William IV, Prince of Orange. William was Anne's only choice of marriage, as he was Protestant and a monarch. The couple honeymooned in Kew before departing for the Netherlands. Anne soon became homesick when William went on campaign in the Rhineland and she travelled back to England. She believed she was pregnant and felt that the child should be born in her homeland as this child would be in the line of succession to the British throne. Both her husband and her father were against this decision. Her father even commanded her to return to Holland. She became pregnant in 1736, but her daughter was stillborn. Anne did not get on well with her mother-in-law, Mary Louise of Hesse Castle, and she was not popular. She believed in British superiority, neglected her duties and kept to herself and her own interests. Her relationship with William was the complete opposite. At first they had a distant relationship, but it flourished into a romance full of happiness. Her first surviving child was Carolina, born in 1743. She had two more children. Anna was born in November 1746, but she sadly passed away a month later. Her only son, William, was born in 1748. In 1747, William became the stadtholder of all seven United Provinces, followed by a reform that made his authority hereditary. William and Anne moved to The Hague. On the 22nd of October 1751, William IV died and Anne became the regent for her young son William V. She held all prerogatives held by the stadtholder except the military duties. Though hard-working, Anne was arrogant and this made her unpopular. During the 1750s, tensions increased between Holland and Great Britain, placing her in a difficult position. Much of Anne's policies focused on defending the authority of the government over the rights of the Dutch states. The reform of the hereditary post of stadtholder had been introduced by her husband and Anne defended it following his death. Her rule was harsh and resented by the people, but she effectively consolidated the new hereditary stadtholder rule in the Netherlands. Anne passed away of dropsy on the 12th of January 1759 at the age of 49. Her mother-in-law, Marie Louise, acted as regent until her death in 1765. Finally, Anne's daughter, Carolina, acted as regent until William V reached the age of 18 in 1766.